thing. Mm -hmm. And you know, like open innovation is something that you see growing and growing. It's not only with startups and with academy or with mm -hmm. your clients or within the company. You see that in general, companies who are more open to change and to mm -hmm. listen, they are more successful. So if we're talking about numbers and ROI, you know, mm -hmm, in mm -hmm. general, if you're very close and hierarchical, it will be very hard for you to succeed because it depends on the gut feeling of the, of the leader of, of the company. Mm -hmm. And sometimes he's very right. And sometimes he's not, especially when the world is changing. So mm -hmm. nobody has answers here. So, you know, when I went to Munich, like I told you half a year ago, mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. I saw, um, I think in one of your main parks, mm -hmm. they had um, people gathering together and they had signs and, and they were so young and, and mm -hmm. they looked so lively. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when I, when I go to my regular tech job, when you're in mm -hmm. the big buildings, mm -hmm. you, don't, you, you don't have the same energy, right? It's yep. like, it could be very funny. Like I work with Google, so it's really mm -hmm. fun, but it's not yep. the same. The enthusiasm mm -hmm. of someone mm -hmm. who really believes in something. There mm -hmm. is no reason why people who really want to make the change. And, mm -hmm. and you know, the, the changers need to think about a buyer the same as buyer needs to think about them. So they yeah. are not enemies both sides. There is no reason why wouldn't they talk and, and try to understand each other. Because after all, if they agree, they, they represent a, a big, um, I know, market they could enter, I guess. Uh, so yeah. when you listen to people, you hear things which is not in the data. I think that the world is so into the data, you know, like mm -hmm. massive data mm -hmm. and, and looking mm -hmm. at numbers. Mm -hmm. And sometimes people are, um, forget just to listen. 